face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better. Now, this week we're gonna tackle Incineroar versus Houndoom, and this is a matchup that you guys have been asking for for a long time. I avoided it till Ultra Sun and Moon because I really wanted the Mew Tutor to be out to really, really take a shot at it. Because at the time, Houndoom was to be the deem better here because of the move pool alone. But yeah, things are not that black and white anymore. So with that in mind, I really, really needed help to really deem the winner here. So I took help with one of my good friend and best league player I knew about. Which we enjoyed yet again from the token minorities. His channel will be linked down below, so make sure to really check him out. It is one of the definitely good Wi Fi battlers and league players alone. So, with that said, Jolt, hit it off. What's going on guys? Jolt here from the Token Minorities and of course thank you to Skyrander once again for having me on for another episode of Who Was Really Better and in today's episode we will be looking at Incineroar versus Houndoom, a very intriguing matchup because of that dual typing of Dark and Fire. That is one of the most potent offensive dual typings you will see on any Pokemon in the entirety of the game. It's such a good offensive typing and as such that will be the primary um, the primary aspect about these Pokemon that we will be grading them based upon because that is an offensive typing it is not a good defensive typing because all of the defensive benefits or one primary defensive benefit that a fire type would have in resisting bug types is not the case here due to the dark typing um, so and in addition to that honestly re the resistance to fairy is also gone because of the dark typing so not the best defensive typing in the world in my opinion but but offensively, Fire Dark is very good, and that's why we want to look into this matchup here. So, talking a little bit about Houndoom myself and Sky Ranger is going to pick up Incineroar here in a little bit. Houndoom is rock has some pretty nice base stats with 75 HP, 90 attack, 50 defense, 110 special attack, 80 special defense, and 95 speed. Now, a couple things that are really important to note here. First of all, the special attack stat of 110 is very solid. It's not fantastic. There's obviously things that are stronger than this, but base 110 attack still hits a maximum att special attack stat of 350, which is nothing to laugh at, definitely. But then you look at the speed stat, and the 95 speed is unfortunately what has held Houndoom back, in my opinion, throughout this generation and even generations before this, where if it was just a little bit faster, even in Gen 4, quite honestly, whenever Steel types didn't resist Dark moves, if Houndoom was just faster than base 100, it could have been a top tier threat. But because it is below base 100, which was the benchmark back then, and now below base 110, which is the new benchmark for potent offensive Pokemon that has unfortunately held Houndoom back. But with that said, it is still a very strong Pokemon with some solid options in its move pool, including, of course, Fire Blast and Flamethrower, as well as Dark Pulse for the powerful dual stab coverage. Also has access to Sludge Bomb to help him hit the Water Fairy, such as potential Azumarill, Tapu Fini, uh, and I guess Primarina is the new Water Fairy as well. So it has some pretty good coverage. It also has Solar Beam making a Z move set. Definitely something worthwhile as the Bloom Doom coming off. A Fire type is always a very solid option here in this generation. Uh, it also has some pretty cool support moves like Taunt. Uh, it also has Will-O-Wisp, which is pretty nice. And then a couple really nice techs that Houndoom has that spoilers and Cinderor actually doesn't. And uh, Skyrander is going to be talking about that soon. Are Pursuit and Sucker Punch, two super important moves to have on on a dark type and Houndoom does have access to both of those in addition to the fire typing so I personally am a very big fan of Houndoom I don't know how many of you might have watched me in the NPL here in the recent season but I had Mega Houndoom on my team and uh, Mega Houndoom let me tell you is an enormous threat offensively and, and regular Houndoom is no different I'm not sure if I'm supposed to talk about the Mega here Skyrender you can just you know clarify whether or not that's the case but regardless houndoom slash mega houndoom either way very solid pokemon and yeah one of my personal favorite fire types to be honest thank you y'all awesome as ever really and of course i'm gonna cover myself in Cineral. now before going in i really just want to cover the typing itself of fire and dark and why it's not that good defensively 
Um, while you have immunity in psychic and resist six typings in dark, fire, ghost, grass, ice, and steel, one really has to look at the weaknesses. These four weaknesses are so common, and there are so many things involved with that that makes the typing, in my own opinion, lacklustering. You have a weakness of fighting, ground, rock, water. What this basically means is that you're actually weak to not only stealth rocks, but also three possible priorities. And not only that, you really have to waver yourself around these issues, which are really, really, really taking a toll on the typing, which does reward the typing itself for actually being more speedy and offensively involved. And this is something actually Incineroar does not do. I was very surprised to see that Incineroar, while being a cat and whatnot, wasn't that speedy, but what it does bring to the table are a lot of offensive and defensive momentum. First and foremost, uh, HP 95 base, yeah, that's fairly high. 115, that's one of the higher ones. It's a very, very good offensive typing. 19 both the defense and special attack of 80, which is passable at best. And of course, the speeds here are very low at 60. But at the same time, we have a split defensive stat with a very high HP stat to actually reward Incineroar quite a lot. Now, when it comes to the ability of Incineroar, we only have two abilities to wait around, which is Blaze and Intimidate. Intimidate, as of this video, are not to be released. That said, we take for granted in this aspect that it's going to be released down the line in Generation 7. And of course, we go into really, really bait on Incineroar at its full power. What does it bring to the table that Houndoom does not? And what really did Incineroar get out of the Mew Tutors? Now, quick rundown here. Incineroar has over Houndoom, we have a knockoff, we have a Drain Punch, Thunder Punch. So we have a lot of aspect to us Incineroar to actually fulfill a really, really strong mixed wall breaker and a fairly good one at that. At 115 attack, yeah, there is a lot going on here. And really, while we have both Swall Stands, Bull Cup, and Nasty Plotter in Cinderor. It's very clear that this Pokemon has a really high damage output that could put it above every other matchup. The Fire and Dark type, as I said before, is a very, very good offensive typing. And when you can set up with this mind, Incineroar does push the boundary quite a lot of what this type really is all about. While Houndoom had Nasty Plot, which clearly is a very good move and does make it able to set up with Lysol Slushman and whatnot, Incineroar has a broader move pool and even now really does capitalize on a lot of really strong sets. We already know for an aspect here, Assault as a variant of Incineroar is fairly viable because we have U-Turn also involved with this, this Pokemon, which make Incineroar one of the strongest Fire Dark types in the game. While there's not a lot of aspect about it, there really is a very clear indication that Incineroar is even one of the better Fire types in the game due to this very combination alone. And really with that said, there only are one thing that really degenerates Incineroar quite a lot, and that actually is the speed tier. Incineroar is not necessarily fast, and it's something that definitely is holding it back. It basically comes to a question whether or not the broadened move pool does allow it to be accessible as a split wall breaker. And there is where the dialogue, both on me and Jolt, really split whether or not we should reward that aspect where a scenario can run a move pool and become more viable towards that, or whether the speedier tier of Houndoom really is the better aspect towards these two. Okay, so just wrapping this up from my own perspective, I have to give the edge to Houndoom, to Houndoom over Incineroar, specifically because of the fact that Houndoom has a base speed stat that is much more beneficial to the role of a fire dark type in draft format as well as in Smogon tiers because that is not a good defensive typing. It is a fantastic offensive typing and speed is very important for offense. Incineroar just doesn't really have the speed stat to to really take advantage of its offensive typing. Houndoom has a better speed stat. It's not good, I wouldn't say, but it's it's better than Incineroar. And as a result, I have to give Houndoom the edge based upon the speed tier for its offensive typing. But in addition to that, I have to give Houndoom the edge as well based upon being a better pure 
dark type having sucker punch and pursuit two essential moves to have on dark types especially in draft format i have to add but also even in smoke on tears pursuit is an essential move and if you're bringing a dark type on your team uh very frequently you will want to have pursuit on it because you're probably bringing it to help you deal with psychic types it's just really nice to be able to get rid of those psychic types whenever they are low on health so i personally give that edge to hound doom what about you skyrander I really, really couldn't say this better myself. The thing is here between these dialogue and these two matchup, uh, matchup wise, if you look at the stats on their own, they are offensively just as capable, but on different aspects. Um, defensively, yeah, Incineroar clearly are bulkier, but we already established that this is not a bulky typing, which kind of lets the downfall of Incineroar go down already. And while I would make a statue for, of course, that yes, Incineroar does have the stronger and broader mood pool. But while it's broader, it's not simply as relevant. And what I mean by that is that for a dark typing, you are always required to carry the likes of Pursuit and Sucker Punch. And for a Pokemon that is as slow as Incineroar, it comes a complete surprise to me that it doesn't carry the Sucker Punch. It really is something that's holding Incineroar a lot back, actually, because that basically means you can't set up a sword stance and go in about it like that. Houndoom is able to do so, and while it's not the primary Pokemon pulling that off, it is able to do just so. Making Incineroar due to this very aspect alone, though it are a lot of other aspects, but this is the foremost aspect that makes Incineroar lacklustering versus Houndoom. Of course, the speed tier does allow Houndoom to be superior already by that alone, but I definitely believe that lacking the moves in the first place is what really, really is the easy breaking point to want to make Houndoom the winner between these two so of course with that said thank you guys for of course joining if anything and really thank you to you all for of course covering which i really was believing to be an impossible task on why houndoom is better than incineroar now a quick rundown because I, I believe i missed out on a few moves and incineroar does get outside of that which is the release life fake out u-turn and the reason those moves are so beneficial to us is incineroar is for one reason u-turn really had to look at aspect it's a fire type you're not supposed to switch out the nasty plot variant of incineroar let's face it how got more special attack it hits a lot harder and of course one thing that I really really just want to stature is that incineroar is inferior to a being a dark type on its own missing pursuit and sucker punch which for the life of me i can't believe that it does it does allow Houndoom to have a more flexibility on a dark type on its own. And when you become the superior fire dark type in the combination, to resolve that issue on its own, and of course lacking the speed to be able to pull it off, Incineroar just simply aren't that good of a Pokemon. While the move pull on its own is very, very good, and I'll even go so far and say that yes, it would have been a tremendous Pokemon had it been done right, but the speed tier will never allow it to be so making of course houndoom vastly superior and um, i think it's unfortunate i definitely believe incinero was a great aspect to the wi-fi bell on its own and seeing it being so lacklustering versus a pokemon introduced what is that 16 years ago yeah it's it's sad it's very sad and uh, the only thing i think we saw that is to give this pokemon sucker punch i think if we got that uh, this this whole stance that would have been very interesting to see in the future but as it stands houndoom simply has the option to pull its rolls off a lot better than incineroar incineroar can't simply do them it it works as a fire type but as a dark type but it just simply is a bad dark type on its own and and that's not that aspect is not going to go away so with that said guys thank you of course for watching make sure to check out y'all to join with this episode and really as always y'all you are tremendous in this episode i'm really glad to have you on board and yeah of course join us next week where we're gonna look upon this matchup